the children buy into the program and how much they really embrace what they're saying. Socially, I will behave. We ask them every morning is what does the back of your shirt say? And their responses make the right decision. Let's give them a round of applause. I think it's a great program. I really am excited about what's going to happen down the road for our children, that we're going to see such huge payoffs when our kindergartners finish the program. You can do anything that you put your mind to. You just have to what again? Try. I love the beginning of the day. We greet our dreamers at the front door. Um, they're greeted by administration as well as our um, community partners. So we have built partnerships with the police, fire, and sheriff department, and that has been super rewarding, both for our students, our staff, and the members of our community partners. Good morning. I grew up in this area, so it's, 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 it's a good time, uh, and I really feel inspired about making a difference in the community. I love seeing the children when they walk in and they see my face and the eyes brighten up um, and I love helping them when they come in sometimes shoes untied or they look sad and I talk to them. They give us a firm handshake, direct eye contact and they say good morning. It's also a great time for us to check in, see if they had a problem on the bus, if they're tired, if they don't feel well. Um, so it gives us a quick second to give them some extra love if they need it to start their day off on the right foot. I know the fact that someone's there to greet them and say good morning. Uh, that actually cares about them, it, it, I think it makes a difference because they, they know that, oh, well, this person, he's here consistently. He must really care about us. Good morning. Thank you, boys and girls. One dreamer. And then we head down to our cafeteria for our morning program, which is an amazing part of the day. I like to look at it as a mini pep rally. It kind of gets the students excited about the day, gets them started off on the right foot. They do a lot of positive affirmations. I like the winning program because I get to have, take all the energy, all the screaming out, and then I'm ready for my day. Go to college and we work hard! We go to college and we work hard! We want them to have that belief, that deep, intrinsic desire to work hard so that they can go to college and, and do something different with their lives than what they may have thought they could have done before. What is your favorite banner that we say in the morning time? I am somebody. What two words can shield be broken down to? She will. When it comes to academics, we really focus on the same SOLs across the county. So we have the same expectations, we follow the same SOLs, we take the same assessments, um, but we have been able to add a STEM class as our resource class. Forward, right, left. We have loved having our STEM program here this year. And so they're able to, to do the STEM activities and the projects right there in the classroom weekly. They get to do a lot of partner work, group work, and just exploration of things that you can't necessarily fit in during your regular science block. So what do we just do? Start with a C. Coding, yeah, thank you. Coding. How are you today? Thank you for Every morning um, we do have social rotations. We have our etiquette class. How do the gentlemen seat the ladies? So they're learning those skills that they can use in the business world because when you go out to those big corporate meetings, you need to know how to sit at the table and use the utensils correctly. We also have Speaking Green, and that allows students to learn how to code switch. So there's a way that you talk when you're with your friends or when you're at home, but then there's a different way that you talk in the business world. So we teach them the proper business English to be able to be successful in the work world. The other one is conflict resolution, and it's really empowering our students to solve their own problems and we get to use our bug and a wish. Can you explain that to me, the bug and a wish? Um, because she teaches us that if someone's bothering you, you want them to stop, you can say, it bugs me when, when, when you do that to me. I wish you would stop. Um, with the extended school day, we have had all types of clubs this year. I've even participated a little bit in yoga. Um, we have our golf club, our tennis club. We have our step team, and they are just so adorable, um, and our dance club. We have our gardening club, and they actually have a gardening tower that is now in our lobby. 
The other two days during the week, our students participate in enrichment and remediation. And so we basically are getting an extra hour and a half of time to really close any gaps in our students' learning. And those students that are on grade level, we're looking to push them a little bit further, do a lot more project-based and broaden their horizons and get them ready for the upcoming grade level. But our students will come right back in July and know the routines, know the expectations. They won't lose a whole lot. We, we really help avoid that summer slide. You hear us talking a lot about what do you want to be when you grow up? How are you going to get there? You know, when we say I can go to college if I work hard, we truly mean that. Um, you know, we want our students to embrace that from a young age and let them know that whatever your dreams are, that's what we're here to do. We're going to help you get your dreams achieved. Are you going to go to college? What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, a teacher. <laughs>